Hey everybody, it's Cosmo the Coding here, and welcome to my humble Ubisoft bundle encore review video. Now, I could quite simply say, what's the point in doing this video? Because um, quite simply, it's an encore of previous bundle. So therefore, I'm going to say, see you later, guys. Thanks for watching. No, no, I'm not. <laughs> The simple fact is that this is actually a repeat of the previous humble Ubisoft bond bundle that took place about three and a bit months ago, sometime in the beginning of February. I think it was the 3rd of February. I think that's what it was, it was around that sort of pe period anyway. And it's actually, like I said, a complete repeat of it. So if it is exactly the same as it was back in February, then I'm even going to be able to tell you what games are going to be added to the bundle. Now, I could just simply say, go and watch the previous video from three months ago. I'm not going to do that. I'm actually I am going to review the the actual uh, bundle again just for those who are watching this one but for one particular reason. Now, I will put a link up there to go and view this video. Um but before you do shoot off and to watch it, I will tell you exactly what is going to happen in it. Um <laughs> uh when I came, when it came to actually recording the video, I suddenly had a quite not necessarily a serious bout of hic but a bout of hiccups and I am denied about recording the video and I sort of thought well I want to go off and play a game and stream it because that's what I do as soon as I finish recording and uploaded this video I start playing and streaming a, a, a game at a time and I thought if I don't do this I'm not going to have time, much time to play so I went off went ahead and recorded the video hiccuped all the way through it some people saw this funny side of it some people well Four of them disliked the video. Um, by all means, go and watch it because it's pretty much going to tell you exactly the same things that I'm about to tell you, but obviously in a different way to how I'm going to do it now <laughs> for various reasons. But anyway, let's cut the crap, get on with this, and I will get rid of this one and that one and turn on my lovely little ticker here, which isn't working yet. Work. Work. Well, oh solid it'll work later <laughs> anyway first up we have three uh, for the white tier pay a dollar or more to unlock three games fairly simple now the first two games are steam keys and they are now i'm going to mispronounce this i always do call of juarez juarez i can never get the spanish right call of juarez gunslinger and grow home so i'm just trying to get this damn thing working and it's not working <laughs> it's gone wrong um call of Juarez gunslinger is um one of the many games one of the few games inside the actual call of Juarez sort of uh, esque first sort of tri series is a first person shooter game set in the world of the wild west actually set sort of um very early 1900s and tells the story of um well, quite simply, a cowboy, where you actually get to meet some legendary outlaws, and the story is sort of told. And there you go, it's working now. It's eleven ninety nine on Steam. It's got some fantastic reviews in the actual Steam review section. It's got its own sort of art, graphical style, as you can hopefully see from the video. It's definitely worth a good look at. You know, I haven't played a good Western game since, well. To be honest, I haven't played a good Western game for quite a long, long time since they haven't d released Red Dead Redemption on PC. Damn you, Rockstar! <laughs> you can say, I'm not bitter. I'm not bitter. <laughs> it's 79 on Metacritic. It's definitely worth a good look at just for a buck. What the, you know, what the hell? Grow Home uh, is... Um, it's kind of difficult to replace it. It's a third-person... Um, platformer which is open world a very sort of casual sort of game um, the, one of the, some of the biggest sort of um, thoughts about the game is it, is it plays kind of like an indie game you know it's weird how it's actually built by Ubisoft and you, it, the sort of overall sort of feel of the game feels that it's it's a game that's sort of very not sort of triple A but it's a game that's sort of made by a lesser studio than Ubisoft but that said it's actually extremely well re received on Steam, just almost as good as Guns, uh, as yeah, Gunsling. I'll call it Gunsling, just to avoid mispronouncing stuff. It's uh, what's the right sort of word for it? <laughs> Basically, the idea is um, you play a robot called Bud or Bud, 
and you're on a mission on a we an alien planet who's and you're utilizing the plants to sort of traverse the actual landscape it's the plants are procedurally generated and you basically utilize them to sort of get higher up in the actual world to explore collect crystals level up the robot and everything it's extremely like i said extremely well received on steam and i'm i know i'm repeating myself so i'm gonna say it's a good game go and get it <laughs> but certainly for a dollar it's pretty good now moving over to you play because the rest of these games are on you play so they're all you play get keys Rayman Origins is a game pretty close to my heart in in terms of the fact that it's pretty much one of the most played games in the household because my kids love Rayman you know they got into the Rayman Rabbids sort of things on the Wii and everything and this is a fairly clean and easy game for them to pick up as it's, a, it's a basically a cartoony 2D platformer that allows for up to four player co-op as long as you've got the, the right number of controllers and I've, I've sort of added to them over time. The kid, it's a it's a lovely cartoony, artistic sort of game. It shows off the, um, you know, the whole storytelling ability of. Um, now I, I always mispronounce his name. It's, I think it's Michelle Ansel. And you, it's a it's a lovely game. It's the only the only time the animation is sort of superseded is by its actual um, sequel, which is Rayman Legends. But there's a whole sort of, you know bad there's a bad sort of vibe about Rayman Legends if you know the story about what happened in it, in terms of, of its release but it, overall the game itself is definitely worth looking at you'll have a lot of fun it's a very cool clean action platformer that you'll have plenty of replayability because you you, you have to sort of unlock things there's extra levels there's all kinds of stuff that you, you quite enjoy it definitely recommend it so go check it out Far Cry 3. Now, look, some people, some people say Far Cry 2 is better, is the best out of the, out of the series. I actually think Far Cry 3 is one of the best out of the series. Can certainly compared to Far Cry 4. I, I didn't, I wasn't a big fan of Far Cry 2, but that's just my opinion. But Far Cry 3 is definitely um, one of the best Far Cry games in the actual series. And now, what's not clear? on this is what version you're getting because um, I just thought I didn't actually tell you how much Rayman was on Uplay, it's 9 99 on the Uplay sorry, missed that it's, uh, Far Cry 3 at the moment is 9 99 on Uplay, it's actually on sale, it's actually half price or at least the version that I could find out about was on sale, I couldn't find a standard edition because what's not clear in this is as it's an this is the as far as I can tell the same key as you got from the previous bundle, but right now on UPlay the only version I could find was what's called um, sort of a deluxe edition or something because you actually get elements of DLC and what's not clear from this description is whether or not you get that DLC or not. Now, gosh, that video is nine, nearly ten minutes long. Wow, um, it's. It's a first-person shooter game. Lots of lots of weapons. Lots of sort of RPG-esque or rogue-esque elements where you basically build up your character, learn new skills. It's definitely a fun game to play. Very bloody. Very sort of story-driven. It's definitely worth a good look if you even have any remote interest in the Far Cry series. Definitely. So I'm, I'm watching the video and remind, remembering all the sort of story elements. Um, definitely a very adult sort of esque game. And I say adult because there is some nudity and stuff in it. But beyond that, you'll enjoy it. I did it when I played it through. Definitely worth the price, which is actually five fifty one dollars. So my math skills tend to be a couple of quid. So nine ninety nine on a new play, even though that's in the sale, definitely worth a good check out. Splinter Cell Blacklist. Now, I've, I'm have i pretty sure I've played every single Splinter Cell game that has ever come out on PC. I'm a big fan of the Splinter Cell series, and when Blacklist was sort of detailed, I know it caused a lot of, not necessarily controversy, but a lot of people were very upset about what 
they actually did with the Splinter Cell series in regards to Blacklist. In Blacklist, they basically, basically, they basically took the characters from the previous games and sort of re-engineered a bit. Um, Sam Fisher, who you play, is it has a different voice actor, a different um, physical actor. Now, this was actually basically done because of the guy who plays him in the actual, um, what do you call it, the motion capture system, is essentially the same person. It's essentially that person. And they had to change the model and everything. And they changed, and changing the voice actor from Michael Ironside basically upset a lot of people. Now, that said, the game itself is not bad at all. It's actually pretty damn good. It's got some good reviews, it's really good reviews. The story is, is quite not good, and it's definitely one to watch for if you're a fan of action stealth pla action stealth games assassination sort of s games so heartily recommend it it's actually on sale on uplay alone for 375 so it's an absolute steal on uplay whether you actually buy it on humble or not so definitely worth a good check out a good check out that even makes sense Give, definitely worth checking out <laughs> oh dear i think i need a bit of drink here right <clears throat> Oh. Bit of medicine. Get that. Get that brain working. All right, Assassin's Creed Chronicles. Now, I am one of these people that sort of felt that the Assassin's Creed sort of games have sort of gotten a bit sort of too samey for my liking. I sort of stopped playing them pretty much after Black Flag, I think, which might be a mistake in certain ways or not but the the Assassin's Creed Chronicles games tend to be a sort of a two and a half D version of the Assassin's Creed games sort of micro adventures if you want to call it like that um, this one is exactly that that it's set in China 1526 you play a female assassin I believe and you undertake basically missions in a two and a half D world it's 799 in on you play Again, the Chronicles of War games are relatively well received. It depends which one you're looking at, but generally speaking, you're pretty much getting exactly what you, you believe you're getting, the Assassin's Creed games. And overall, overall, the stories are pretty strong. You know, they, produce, they sort of all support each other in terms of um, the whole sort of Assassin's Creed-esque plot line. But again, you're sort of getting... I suppose anyway, a micro version of Assassin's Creed, if 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 that's any easy way of explaining what you're getting. Now, the more games coming soon. Now, if this is mimicking the bundle exactly as it was three months ago, then it should add two games, which is another Splinter Cell game and the Far Cry Three Blood Dragon expansion. Now, I I think it was was it Chaos Theory. I can't remember now which Splinter Cell game it was, and I didn't actually make a video of it, sadly. I actually just min only mentioned it in Twitter, so I have no idea what, what it, which one it was. But I believe it was a fairly close, fairly modern one in terms of what it, which one it was. But overall, that wasn't much of an expansion. Now, it might be that they sort of change it up a bit and say, and, and add other games, but overall, that was pretty much the expansion from the last time. Now, 15 bucks or more, and I've also noticed that they've got rid of the currency conversion from last week, which is a, is a shame, really, because that was quite nice. Two games, another Assassin's Creed game, this time Assassin's Creed Rogue. Um, Assassin's Creed Rogue is basically a sort of a reverse of Assassin's Creed, where instead of playing an assassin, you play or play someone that becomes an assassin, you play someone who becomes a Templar and essentially hunts down the assassins. It's uh, where is it? It's fourteen ninety five on UPlay, and it's again it's fairly well received. It's it's got some high reviews on uh, Metacritic. Sorry, that, that that name went out of my head. It's definitely worth a look at. It, it's actually a lot of people quite like the fact that you play as a Templar because it changes the whole sort of dynamic of the game. Rather than going around just killing people and sort of running your way through the assassin sort of storyline, you've got a sort of a flip side of the coin. So you're you're seeing things a little bit differently to how you're used to seeing them, sort of being this do-gooder that's assassinating people for the you know the the good of the cause. Whereas in the Templars, you're sort of 
trying to eliminate the problem and overall it's a good staple point in the actual series of Assassin's Creed. Now if memory serves this was actually originally a console exclusive and then it was sort of eventually re-released if you want to call that for PC. So again if you're into Assassin's Creed games this is definitely one for your collection. Next up we have uh, the crew. Now I believe you're only getting the standard edition so it's $24.99 on Uplay at least that's the price I got from there. It was, it was a little bit confusing because there's so many different versions of it. Uh, the crew is basically a sort of multiplayer-esque drop-in, drop-out game where you drive around so, uh, sort of undertaking missions to basically uh, drive out a gang in, in a sort of city sort of thing. You get the general sort of gist of it. it it's um, it's quite a good game to play with friends and, and so on and so forth, apparently. That's what I've heard along, along the lines. The sort of the biggest criticism of the game though is that it lacks depth it's sort of it, it's missing something that's what the general sort of review sort of thing there's sort of the sort of limitations on the number of cars and the number of bits and pieces to do with the game so although it's a nice game you sort of feel that you're missing out on something and that's kind of the biggest issue with the crew but overall it's a good game whether it's worth 15 bucks or more I mean some people will say yes if you're into driving games, I'm I'm not that much into them, so it's not really a game that's going to sort of scream out to me to buy. But that's in general my just point. That's just my point of view. Now, this back when this was actually released, well, back back when this bundle was actually first done, the division wasn't out yet. So now that the division is out, I can kind of give a general sort of review of what it is, what I think about it. It's thirty nine ninety nine on uh, Uplay which is roughly now here goes a very bad conversion um, which is roughly about the right price I suppose which is about $75 off that, and that's really roughly off the top of my head I'm not going to dig out the calculator to figure that out in general um, that's not a bad price and especially if you get an exclusive t-shirt I can only assume that they have several boxes left in the warehouse after the previous bundle but Essentially, um, the division is basically set in, in, in a sort of apoc apocalyptic uh, world where pandemics wiped out people, and you're fighting to survive in a sort of multiplayer esque RPG, build up your character sort of sandboxy level game thing. <laughs> I, I mean, that's, that's a terrible description. I'm so sorry. Um, it's 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 considered to be one of U, uh, Ubisoft's best games for quite a long quite some time certainly at the moment anyway a lot of people still play this game it's getting expansions and dlcs and, all, and everything you could possibly want in terms of um a third a third person action game i haven't actually played it so i can't really give you much more than what i've read or what i've seen on uh, various review sites and everything but it's definitely a good game in terms of that. Whether it's worth the price or not in terms of that, I can't really say. I'm I'm one of these people that sort of waits for a game to come down in price. I, it hasn't really come down in price at all, but then it's an extremely popular game and that tends to sort of keep the price quite high when it comes to PC games. So, you know, so overall it's gonna come down to whether or not you Two bundle. There was games that you made that were actually 
in the previous versions of the bundles, but this one is actually an exact carbon copy of it. And it just seems a bit lazy. Maybe maybe we're going to get something more adventurous in the next few weeks, or something humble is going to pull something out, out of the bundles to, you know, to, to show off their sort of life. Or maybe they just run out of the games or bundles. You know, it's difficult to say what humble thoughts are in terms of this, but obviously they have some sort of plan. So, See you next time, hopefully for...